The Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows is a space where all of your unknown emotions have a home. It's a place where certain feelings that can't simply be explained have a destination. If one has a specific feeling or just can't find the right word, normally it would go undiscovered, unresolved, until one stumbles across this resource created by John, a man who finds the importance of defining emotion. I am the creator of the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows, whose mission is to fill all the holes left in the language of emotion and give names to experiences that we all have but we don't usually talk about because we, we don't have the words to do it. For the past 11 years, John has been pioneering the language of emotion. When he was younger, John would read the dictionary for fun and found comfort in doing so. It's kind of a book of consensus. This is basically a list of what we can at least agree upon, but it's also a glimpse at a wider world because you kind of get the feeling that somewhere in these pages you could find yourself somewhere so that your own experience becomes a shared experience and make you feel less alone. Therefore, with years of experience of reading this very book, he realized that there were some words that just didn't exist. Mostly words that describe very specific emotions. This gave him the idea for the concept of defining unknown emotions. And in doing so, he's created a website of 117 pages of these words. Some of the definitions are even in the form of visual representations on his channel to better show and explain these very strange feelings. These feelings highlighted on his channel are Sonder. The realization that everyone has a story. Vimodalin, the fear that everything has already been done. Avenor, the desire to see memories in advance. Onism, the awareness of how little of the world you'll experience. Enamoya, nostalgia for a time you've never known. Alika, awareness of how few days are memorable. Opia, the ambiguous intensity of eye contact. Notice tolerance when your life doesn't fit into a story. Ambido, a moment you experience for its own sake. Yu Yi, the desire to feel intensely again. Socha, the hidden vulnerability of others. Canopsia, the eeriness of places left behind. Astrophy, the feeling of being stuck on Earth. Xenocene, the sense that time keeps going faster. Plexos, the art of dwelling on the past. Coinophobia, the fear that you've lived an ordinary life. Alasia, the fear that you're no longer able to change. Bellagere, the awareness that you are no longer home in the wilderness. Devu, the awareness that this will become a memory. Lutalica, the part of your identity that doesn't fit into categories. Lockism, longing for the clarity of disaster. Kudoclasm, when lifelong dreams are brought down to earth. Moment of tangency, a glimpse of what might have been. Mori, the desire to capture a fleeting experience. Silience, a brilliant artistry hidden all around you. And last of all, Pero, the feeling that everything you do is somehow wrong. All of these obscure feelings have a good representation of what they're defining, both with its thumbnail, since they're similar enough for branding, but different enough to be unique of what it's describing, just like feelings. And with the content of the mini documentaries themselves that use B-roll, John's own footage, or a certain animation style to give an impact themselves with its fantastic production quality. Whatever the topic is, the video will represent that with its subtle storytelling abilities. Instead of just saying the definition, he'll say it, Olika, explain it, your life is a highlight reel, a gradual search for a handful of memories, and then paint it in a poetic way. As the song says, long live the high tide and long live the low, but above all, long live the difference. You can tell that there is always a very specific meaning purely based on how it's presented. In the short term of watching these, 
it may occasionally make you sad. But in the long term, it builds understanding of emotions. That's the reason why it's called the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows. Well, the wilderness is, has been tamed and civilized. It has been exhaustively, richly detailed. But the interior wilderness, for whatever reason, is still mostly unexplored territory. And it's kind of a, a mystery as to why that should be. I think we mostly think of our emotions as somehow untranslatable. But I don't think that's actually true. I think that's just the language as we've inherited it. And so I've tried to fix that with the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows. Watching all of these videos gives you perspective on the world. Sure, you might not relate to all or any, but it gives you more of an understanding of how some people feel, think, and work. Just like the thousands of people that have already related to these obscure feelings thus far. If it wasn't for John, how would these people have a place to share their experiences, stories, and support each other by relating to others with the same feelings? Now they feel less alone. Now you can feel less alone. Now you can see that a lot of people have genuinely felt these feelings before, which shows the legitimacy of these words and their definitions. I know I've felt some of these before. Sonder, Avanor, Olika, Yu Yi, Xenocene, Alasia, Devu, Lutalica, Mori, and Silience are all ones that I've felt in my life, personally, Sonder. When I've realized that all of my friends have complex lives that are, if not more so complex than my own, Avanor. I want to get to so many different places in my life, and I wish I already had those memories in my mind every single day. Alika. The only days I remember vividly are the ones where I'm spending it with those that I love. Yu Yi. There are so many things I wish I could feel intensely again. The <laughs> anxiety of not knowing if the girl I like likes me back. The feeling of making a new friend and learning every single thing about them. The feeling of excitement in general. Xenocene. I always feel like life is going by faster and faster to the point where I'm kind of shocked at how old I am already. Alasia. Having certain things that I hate about myself that I'm afraid I'll never get out of. Devu. The times at camp. The times where I'm spending it with my girlfriend. The times where it has impacted me emotionally and mentally. Lutalica. Mostly regarding me creatively because nobody does what I do. Mori. So many times where I wish I had more pictures or videos of certain situations in my life, but I'm too busy living in the moment that I totally forget to snap a quick picture. And Silience. I believe that there are so many beautiful things in the world, especially online, and I love to look at each and every one of them. Devu is one that I strongly relate to. Avanor and Mori almost made me cry. And Mori hit me the worst because there are so many instances in my life that I desperately want to relive over and over again. If it weren't for John's Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows, I wouldn't have as much of an understanding of my emotions as I used to. And mind you, this is only the YouTube channel. There's still a website of 117 pages of these obscure words that I haven't even glanced at yet, nor felt the need to list every single one because I have an idea. I'm going to be streaming all of the obscure sorrows on Twitch tonight to see if I can find some more specific words and meanings for more specific feelings I have that I still don't understand yet. Even if you don't participate in it, I would highly suggest that you check out the website. I would advise that if you're the type of person that would categorize yourself as very emotional, or you have very specific feelings that you're not sure how to word or describe, be sure to check out the website. 
normally I hate to directly call out things like this, but I believe that this is a very important resource in general for basically anybody and everybody. I believe that it's a very valuable tool that everybody should know about. It's truly incredible that one person made this. It took one person to describe obscure feelings with words, definitions, explanations, examples, and visual artistry to help so many people to get clarification for their specific feelings.